There are a lot of blue books, as it seems, when I look at them now. And they're all beautiful, and a lot of beautiful covers, and I really love that. So if you haven't guessed already, this is my book haul. So I'm going to start from this book, and I really love this cover. It's purple, and it is just so beautiful, and it just feels so nice when I do this. Okay, stop that. <laughs> this is the third book of the... What, what's it called? Under the Never Sky Trilogy? I'm not sure what the trilogy is called, but the first book is Under the Never Sky. Then the second book is Through the Every Night. And the third book is Into the Steel Blue. I read the first two books and they were really great. And they're not too... They're not too long and you could read them in one sitting easily. I really love those books because of the world building because everything was just so beautifully thought of and I really loved that and also the characters and the development and things like that were also great. So this is, I'm not sure what this, what genre these books would be but I think it would be something between dystopian and post-apocalyptic and also science fiction and it is just a strange mixture and I haven't read a book like this before and those books are just amazing and they're really action-packed so if you like dystopian and you like sci-fi and you like post-apocalyptic kind of thing that I, then I think that these books would definitely be something you would enjoy so I would definitely recommend you to start, start reading this trilogy and I'm going to finish it soon, I hope so and what a beautiful cover I've already said that in my, I'm not sure which book haul it was but a few months ago I bought the second and the third book in the Maze Runner trilogy and I ordered the first book so it's game and I'm really looking forward to reading this book because as you all already know the movie is going to come out soon and I would really like to read this book before that happens because I don't really like reading books after having watched the movie so I would really like to do that. I've heard mixed opinions on this book and I'm not really sure what to think so if you've read Maze Runner and if you loved it or you didn't like it or something like that leave a comment and I would really like to discuss it with you because I'm not sure whether I'm going to like it or not but I have all three books and I, and I really really hope that I will like them. The third book is Bitter Blue by... I'm never sure how her name is pronounced but Christine Kashore or something like that. It's really strange. And another beautiful blue cover. This is Midnight Blue. Love it. This is some kind of young adult fantasy and this is also the third book. But those are companion novels so I think that you could read this one without reading the first two. So this is the third in the companion trilogy. The first one being Graceling and the second one being Fire. I really enjoyed the first two books and I read them I think two years ago and I finally decided that I wanted to read the third one but maybe I will also read the first and the second one because I'm not sure how much those books are connected and I'm sure that I have forgotten a lot of things I'm not sure but this book is somehow bigger than the first two it has it has 540 something pages but I'm really looking forward to reading it because you could never say no to fantasy, right? When we're speaking about fantasy there is another fantasy book and it is another third book in the serial and that is Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercombe I don't know how this one is pronounced and I, I don't really want to try to pronounce it because I'm sure that I'd do it wrong. So these books are have really great covers and the texture is really great. So it is not like any book 
I've ever seen before and that's what I really like. So I don't really know much about this, this trilogy. I have the other two books and I haven't read them but that is just something like I like to do. I like buying books, all three of them, without even reading the first one. And if I don't like the first book I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them but I'm probably going to read them no matter what. So this is another fantasy trilogy and it is, I suppose, it is high fantasy adult trilogy. Most people seem to like it and I hope that I will too, so I'll give it a try. And then those three Lunar Chronicles and I'm sure that you've seen those books many many times on booktube. I'm not going to tell you much about them I read the first book, and that is Cinder, last year, and I didn't really like it the first time I read it, because I knew that a lot of people liked it, and I just found it somehow predictable, and I didn't really connect with characters. When I started seeing how many people liked the third book and everything, I wanted to give the it's not a trilogy, it is Quartet. Uh, I wanted to give those those books a second try and I already read those and I really really enjoyed them. They are all predictable and I really could guess everything that happened and things like that. But they are somehow nice to read and we don't know what, what these books are about. They are science fiction and there are a lot of robots and cyborgs and things like that, but they're a retelling of fairy tales. So this one is Cinderella, this one is Little Red Riding Hood, and this one is Rapunzel. And the fourth one is coming out next year, and I can't wait to read it. And it is called Winter, so I suppose it is about Snow White. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those books really don't have a lot to do with the fairy tales. So they're not typical retelling. They have some premise of the fairy tales and I really really love that. So in my opinion the third one was the best so far and I really really enjoyed it and I can't wait for the fourth book to come out. So I would definitely recommend you to check these books out if you haven't already and if you find the first one predictable don't stop there series because you won't regret it the second and the third book are much better than the first one I went to my local bookstore and I found two books that were translated into Serbian so if you don't know already my first language is Serbian so English is not my first language and I decided to buy them because they were really cheap so the first one is Half Bad by Sally Green and this is not translated right because if I would translate this to English it would be White Crow and this has nothing to do with the original title of the book and I really hate that and they had the cover that all of you have seen the white one with the smoke and face and it would be black on the other side but they also had this one and I think this is the children's edition and I don't think that this book is for children but this one was cheaper and I didn't really know if I would like this book or not because I heard that a lot of people didn't really like it but this one was really cheap and I decided to buy it no matter what and I'm going to read it sometime and who knows? So this is Half Bad by Sally Green. And I'm going to put the original cover here. And then, uh, last book. And I've already read this. This is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. And this is also in Serbian. And I'm not a fan of the original cover. And this one is even worse, worse than the original cover. So, But it was cheap. So this book is really popular on booktube. But I, I read it in one sitting, but I didn't really like it as much as I thought I would. Because there are many contemporary books right now, and I think this is new adult? I'm not sure. But I somehow I couldn't connect with characters, and I just... I don't know, I didn't like this book as, as much as I thought I would. 
and I'm not sure about the writing because I think it would be better if I read the original book in English. I can't really say if, if the writing is beautiful or something like that because this is the translated book. But I would like to read some other Colleen Hoover books because everyone seems to think that they're all beautifully written and that they're all amazing. So I will definitely check out some other of her books. So those will be all the books that I bought last month. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, the usual give me thumbs up and subscribe. You know where the subscribe button is, right? And I'll see you soon. So... That would be it.